Hello ladies and gentlemen, Tide here, and today we're going to be talking about Marathon Bungie's new game that is somewhere out on the horizon in the future. Marathon was shown at the PlayStation Showcase with a little CGI trailer, and then they also did a little deep dive with a Vidoc and an article talking more about what Marathon is. For those who don't know, Marathon is going to be a three-person extraction shooter similar to games like Tarkov. You'll also be able to play as a duo or solo if you want to, but you're still going to play against other teams. But recently we had a, I guess, a leak article come out from Insider Gaming, and this is done by Tom Henderson. And if you don't know Tom, he is a pretty well-known entity in the, I guess, leaking news gaming space. He's had a lot of things right with his predictions over the last few years, so as always, take it with a grain of salt, but he has a pretty great track record. So one of the things that he talks about is the new oxygen system, which might be the most controversial feature within the game. So you'll basically have a limited supply of oxygen that will act as your match countdown timer. Once you run out of oxygen, you're going to start to lose health. And obviously, you want to extract before you run out of both of those. But players can find oxygen canisters throughout the map, or they can buy them at an expensive price on the market before they actually play the game. Now, he does not clarify if this is actual money or if this is like in-game currency. It would be pretty awful, in my opinion, if you could just use real money to buy more oxygen before you even play so i hope that's not the case but with how microtransactions are now i would not be surprised he also talks about an injury system within marathon and how the oxygen system ties into that certain injuries will cause the player to suffer different effects he gives the example of being shot in the waste area may cause damage to the oxygen supply so you'll lose oxygen more rapidly another one was being concussed and how your screen would just start to blur randomly he goes on to say that if you're having a huge issue with the oxygen supply don't worry because marathon has an ability and perk system that can help you with that he says perks like Faster revives, less oxygen usage, faster movement in water, talks about night vision, and says the more that you progress, the more perks and abilities you're going to be able to unlock. He then talks about how Bungie wants Marathon to be the ultimate live service game. That is a terrifying statement in my opinion, so I guess we're going to see what happens. But then he goes on to talk about what the gameplay loop of Marathon is, and it's you choose missions, you buy, choose your loadout and your abilities and gear and perks, you drop into the server, aka the game, hunt for loot, complete those missions, and you can explore, find secrets, you then extract and spend XP on updates, and then you do it again. He then says that Bungie's making three different maps for Marathon, but doesn't know if they're all going to release on launch day, which I can't imagine that they would do that. I think that it'll be like each season, maybe they're going to open up a, a new map. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the update on those leaks and uh, what we're looking at with Marathon. We're still probably like two years out from that. 2025. I'm pretty excited for Marathon. I, I hope that the oxygen system uh, promotes like movement instead of people just camping like in tarkov and those other games where it's just like you're trying to explore the area and then there's just a dude that's been sitting behind a door for like the last three hours just aimed down sights and he's like got gamer fuel coming out of his nose and yeah i just hope that it promotes movement within the game and i hope that the movement in the game is fun let me know in the comments down below if you're excited for Marathon, if you're looking forward to it. If these leaks kind of sound bad or good, I would love to know your opinion. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Leave a like as it helps the channel out greatly, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace!